Hello my friends, I'm Duchess and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make your brushes get thin at the ends. This was a requested video by Shivali Sinha. Thank you very much for commenting and for requesting this topic. Let's get started. So honestly, I don't know all that much about making brushes. I made a few of my own which I do use all the time but I mainly learned how to make them by just looking at all of the settings and seeing what options create certain effects. The brush that I'm going to edit and transform today is going to be this basic Procreate brush from the painting section. It's the round painting brush, which is really round. I'm going to rename it as trial brush so we can compare it to what it was before and what it will be later. So to make the ends of your brush get thin, here's what you need to do. First, you need to go to the settings. I know that there are a lot of options and it's a bit overwhelming because you just don't know what to do with them. Go to the taper button, and this is the most important setting for making the ends of your brush thin, so definitely do this. It says pressure taper, and this changes the size and the pressure of the ends of your brush. So I'm going to drag this in to the maximum and increase the size to the maximum as well. The size here will change how small the ends of your brush are. So if you want the ends to be really small, max it out. If you want it to be just slightly thinner, then don't max it out. Maybe go to 50% or something. The opacity is the next option, and this basically just fades out the edges of your brush. So if you want the brush to fade out when using it, then definitely increase the percentage of the opacity. If you don't want it to fade out, then keep the opacity percentage lower. Personally, I like it when the brush fades out, so I'm going to put mine to the max. Then there is the pressure slide. This determines how much pressure affects the brush. If you want the brush to be heavily affected by the amount of pressure you use, then increase the percentage of the pressure slide and vice versa. The touch taper settings should be the same as the pressure taper. Next, go to the stabilization settings. This is not exactly essential for creating thin edged brushes, but I feel like it has a really lovely effect and it makes the brushes just much nicer. So streamline is kind of like the amount of pull that your brush has. I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean when I say pull, but basically when you draw, you feel a little pull against what you've drawn and it just makes your lines or your strokes look a lot smoother and cleaner. So I think it's kind of ideal. I'm going to increase the percentages of the amount pressure and the stabilization amount and this is going to create a pull effect that'll make my strokes look nicer. Next settings are the Apple Pencil settings. This here says pressure and this determines how much pressure affects the brush overall, not just the edges of the brush. So I'm going to put this to the maximum. Alright, so I'm done editing this round brush. Let's try it out. You can see that it's pretty smooth when I'm using it. The ends of the brush are thin as well. Another way to see if it really is thin is by looking at the brush in the brushes section. You can see the literal shape of the brush, which is pretty cool. So if we look at the Procreate round brush and compare it to the trial brush we just made, you can see how the brush has changed. The edges are definitely thinner and it looks pretty different. I wish I could have explained more, but as I said before in several videos, I'm not really a pro at using Procreate, but I hope that this video helped you in some way. I also do love my thin edged brushes and they're extremely helpful, so have fun making your brushes and let me know if this video helped you. That is all I have for you guys this week. If you guys enjoyed this week's video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next week.